Today I came here at Legacy Martial Arts to train with Matt and we did some very nice paint. So here it is. Cool, let's go. So I'm here with Walter today and we've been looking at some boxing fakes, uh, four basic boxing fakes, all off the jab. So let's get started. Walter's gonna be in his stance. So fake number one is he's gonna fake a jab to the body and then jab up high. And the way I train this is I put the pad that I want him to fake on my belly with the back facing him so he knows that's the pad to fake to. And then the other pad is the one for hitting. Jab, jab. Now with the body fake, the key is to drop down to look at the body and to throw your jab about halfway out so that your partner reacts by either dropping a hand or covering with their elbow. And then from there, popping your jab up without retracting. So you don't want to do this because it gives it away. It's out halfway and then it just continues to the target. So he fakes a jab, cross hook. And you've got to sell the fake. So just doing this with your arm is not enough. You've got to kind of drop your weight, open your eyes, look at the body, fake, and then pop the jab up high. So it's got to be convincing. And I've got to feel as the pad holder like, oh, he is going to jab me, but he's not. He's going to change the angle of the attack. So that is um, fake number one, fake the jab to the body and then jab high. You can also reverse that so he can fake the uh, jab up high and then jab to the body. So he goes like this, uh, jab, jab, yep. And again, cross hook. So this one, you want to raise yourself up, look up, throw your jab up halfway and then spear it down into the body. So it goes up and then drive it down, usually aiming for the solar plexus. Good. So you can do that one either way. So that's with the jab, low to high or high to low, work whichever one you prefer and that works best for your body type. Number two, fake number two is to fake the jab high and cross low. This is a classic combination. So. For the pads, I place the lead pad up with the back facing Walter and the rear pad either like this or like this on my solar plexus to the side of my body. So I don't want the pads on two separate lines like that. I want them kind of on the same line. So I'm almost covering myself. He jabs up high to this one and then crosses low, hook cross. Make sure you go long range with this. This is a long range combination. So stay long. Yeah, nice. So lead pad is the one he's faking his jab at. Rear pad is the one he's gonna hit, but they're on the same line, so they're realistic. They're not separated. Again. Oh, sorry. <laughs> fake, jab. <laughs> fake jab cross. Good. And it's an up, down one. So once again, sell it by going high. The eyes go high, the body raises up. Then you change levels and you shoot that cross straight towards the solar plexus, return. You could roll out, etc. Let's do it again, please, Walter. So he fakes a jab up high. Yeah, nice. That's fake number two. Fake number three is uh, used against someone who over parries. Over parrying means that instead of making their parry nice and small and compact and combine it with a bit of head movement, people start swatting at your hand and bringing their hand, in my case, in an orthodox stance, my right hand past center line to parry, exposing this side of my head. So you set this up by Walter jabbing this pad Hard. So it gives me the jab. Then he fakes the jab and goes straight into a hook and then across and hook. So this is such a common um, setup and fake in boxing. You, when you're sparring or fighting, you notice the person is moving the hand past center line and their head to the opposite direction too far. This should be as small as possible, but they're moving it a bit too far. So you jab towards their right eye. So if I'm facing the camera, I want to jab towards the right hand side of my partner's body so that their hand is going to cross further to deal with that and then I fake the jab and then I usually shift in as well at the same time so I'm at jab range which is long range if I try and for a hook it's like a long slap it's not really a hook so I go long jab fake and then I what they call a gazelle punch or a, a leaping hook I jump into range with that hook so what Walter's going to do is he's going to jab towards my right hand side of my face and then he's going to fake that jab, travel in, and then he's followed up with his cross and his hook, return to stance afterwards. So a bit more finesse, a bit more timing on this. Ideally, you don't want the person to contact their arm. So one way to train this is Walter's going to jab, and I'm going to tap his hand. Jab again, tap his hand. Now he's going to fake the jab, so my pad goes through, and then he follow, follows up on the other side. So 
He's jabbing my left pad and I'm trying to parry with my right, parry with my right, parry with my right. He fakes the jab, my hand crosses center line into the hook again. So he gives me the jab. I give it a little sharp jab, a little sharp. Whenever he's ready, he hooks and then follows up. Really good fake that, that's fake number three. And last one is fake number four, which is an overhand right. So Walter's in his stance. He's gonna fake a jab to the body, step out and then overhand over the top, hook, cross. You set this up with a really stiff, hard jab to the solar plexus. So jab hard, boom, so it, that hurts. Next time he jabs me, I'm likely to tuck or I'm likely maybe to drop my hand or twist my body, which exposes me for the overhand, especially if I do a hand parry. So if he hits me hard with that jab, and then the second time he does it, I do this, the overhand is open, step, crack. And that's the big finish knockout. So when you're training it, you put the left pad on your belly to simulate the body jab and the right pad at about 45 degrees for him to swing the overhand. And then hook cross as the follow-up. With the overhand, you can go your palm facing the floor, you can go with your thumb facing the floor, you work out what works best for you. The key with the overhand is not to stay on center line, is to shift your weight across, duck your head down, keep your opposite hand up and throw it over the top at a 45 degrees. So he jabs to the body and then overhand foot cross. So those are the four basic fakes off the jab. We have like a, a jab low, jab high. We have a jab high, jab low which is the same fake essentially. I fake the jab high, cross low. I fake the jab to the right hand side, leaping hook to follow up. And then a fake jab to the body, overhand right, back to stance. Thank you, dude. Thank you.